my fitness coach, get in shape. I'm going to be comparing this game to Wii Fit. Also in this, Wii Fit and Wii Fit Plus are interchangeable because they're basically the same game. Wii Fit Plus has some more activities and some more features. It's not really a sequel, it's an improved remake. If you're getting one of them, get Wii Fit Plus. When you start up this game, try not to be alarmed by the alien having assumed human form with her dead eyes. It's just Maya, your personal trainer. Also, for some reason, in the game, she's blonde, even though on the cover, she's got dark hair. This is not compatible with the balance board. You start off by entering your weight and height, and for some reason, this doesn't have a switch to go over to metric for those of us who don't count in pounds and measure in feet and inches. After that, you will be requested to, but you don't have to, measure various parts of your body so that the game can see how the progression is. Once it's created a profile for you based on these numbers, it will tell you how often it suggests you work out and for how long. And from then on out, it will provide a daily focus suggestion. You don't have to follow the suggestion. You get to choose music between hip-hop, Latin, 80s, dance, techno, and house. There's also one for yoga, but it's only for the yoga workout. I'll get to that in a moment. I wouldn't personally call any of the music particularly catchy, but I guess it isn't supposed to be. It shouldn't distract you from the workout. You choose the length of the exercise in minutes, 15, 30, 45, 60, or 75, and it actually does genuinely last about the time that you choose to work out for. There are some built-in rest periods, and it will really only take maybe a minute or two more than it says, and that might increase some as you work out for longer. But if you have half an hour, but if you have basically half an hour to spare, you can work out for half an hour in this and you will get more out of it than with say We Fit. Because in We Fit, you keep because in We Fit, there's a set amount of reps for the exercise. And you can raise or lower that, but after that, you have to start it over, and that's not so in this. This is much smoother. I'll get to that. You also choose a location. Some are inside, most are outside. There's the desert, there's a dojo, an urban area, a meditation garden, an island, a, an alpine, a rooftop, and a forest. Some of these and some of the music styles will not be available to you right away. You unlock them by putting in more time of exercise. Now once you've selected all of these, you'll start the workout. And if you know what you want, choosing this won't take very long. From putting the disc in, you can be exercising within a minute, maybe two, after that first time when you create the profile, that is. For the workouts, Maya will show you what to do and you have to mimic it. Once one exercise is done, she'll just move on to the next one. You can, of course, pause using the home key. You basically don't select the exact exercises, you select the focus and all the exercises will then be determined by that focus. You can also choose to use hand weights, a heart rate monitor, a step bench, or a balance bowl. It will incorporate them into the exercise if you have them and you let it know that you have them. <coughs> the exercises are seen as small bars at the very bottom of the screen and they move from one side of the screen to the other and sometimes you will be able to see the start of the bar and or the end and once one bar ends it is and at the end of one bar and right after a bar the next bar the next exercise begins so you can sort of see how close you are to the next exercise and if you already know by name what that exercise is then you'll know what the next exercise is now all of these exercises do have tutorials but really, all that does is tell you what you're going to be doing. Often, Maya will act as if you know exactly what to do, as if you've done it a ton of times before. And the first time, or if you've just forgotten that particular exercise, it will be a little annoying and a little difficult to keep up. This really doesn't do enough to tell you the timing. You basically have to look at the screen all the time, and that includes the exercises where you're lying down. I mean, you can do them without, but you won't get the timing right, and 
presumably the timing is part of the exercise. Basically, if Maya would just say, okay, now do that the way it is in Wii Fit, that would be a lot better. You also really can't slow Maya down in order to allow you to catch up with her. I personally found the yoga exercise to be very repetitive. The first five minutes were the exact same thing over and over. But hey, maybe that is how yoga works. I've never gone to a class. Since the game doesn't fully take into account your flexibility or coordination, you may be stuck trying to do exercises that you can't do. To be fair, it does make an effort to take individual flexibility and coordination into account. Also, do note that this expects you to have enough room to exercise. I don't know of a way to tell it that you don't have that much room. The game can't really grade your performance the way Wii Fit can, since there's no balance board involved here. But basically, if you have the self-discipline, you'll be fine. She will on occasion ask if an exercise was too easy for you, too hard, or if the porridge was just right. And if need be, she will adjust somewhat at least. Maya will make an occasional stupid joke, and she'll try to encourage you to keep going and stuff. I don't know, maybe I'm just cynical. Personally, I'd like her to be more pragmatic, or for us to be allowed to just turn her voice off. Just as a disclaimer, this is not indicative of my actual opinion towards women talking. I have no problem with women talking in my presence. I merely don't want them to say, that's right, you go over and over and over. On the whole, We Fit and We Fit Plus are basically your playful friend that you want to have some fun with, whereas this genuinely is your personal trainer. Not the world's most responsive personal trainer, but at least a little bit higher than an actual DVD. Now, to be fair, this does really tailor your exercise and properly guides you in the right direction, which again, Wii Fit does not. Wii Fit is for fun. It's for playing with your friends. This is for exercising. Even if you have a busy schedule, you will probably be able to squeeze in at least 15 minutes with this because it genuinely is about 15 minutes. The tone is neutral, the animations are very smooth, the camera is dynamic keeping the energy up, the settings are diverse and photorealistic, mostly at least. The graphics are pretty good other than Maya's dead eyes, certainly for the Wii. There's occasional awkwardness surrounding the menus, but on the whole it works and it delivers. I recommend this to anybody who has a Wii and wants to get in shape or lose weight. That was my spoiler for review of my fitness coach, Get in Shape. Yes, I took great care not to reveal the intricate plot that ties all of the workouts together. I'm kidding. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.